Morning guys, how you going? So, what do we got here? A little gearbox. It's actually out of a, I think, I'm trying to think what year it is. It's a little Suzuki um, Jimmy, one of those little tiny Suzuki four-wheel drives. I, they might be called something else in other countries, but between what we know them of here, I think it's mid-2000s, I think, or mid-early 2000s. Um, it's actually out of my uncle's one um, that you actually seen on that first video I went when we went to Tiwayway and he was actually rolling that bit of grass. <coughs> it's the original gearbox out of that. Um, he picked the vehicle up cheap because I think this had... I don't know whether they drained the oil out of it to change it or whether it had sprung a leak, but it had been towed behind a vehicle um, with no oil in the gearbox and it um, it damaged some bearings, so my uncle stripped it, put some new bearings in it, and went to use it, and it was still really noisy. Um, I think he must, he I don't know whether he did anything else to it. But he got another one, um, that was meant to be reconned, and that was noisy in, what, I mean, third or something like that, third or fourth or something. Well, that was quite noisy. So, Dad's bought this one home, and we're going to strip it and have a look at it. And see if we can find out what's wrong with this one. See why it's still noisy. And because um, it's apparently it's, it's damaged bearings again. But we, we just don't know why or what's going on. So we're going to have a bit of a look. And um, see if we can suss out what's going on with this. And see if we can maybe repair it um, properly. Because <coughs> it's supposed to be, well from what I understand talking to Dad. It, it might have damaged one of the, um, whether one of the bearings sits on the casing. I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, when we start stripping it down, we might do some more video. Alrighty guys, so back at it. So, this is this inside of this little gearbox. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually I'll throw a picture up of, um, of my uncle's little um, Suzuki from that other video, just so you remember what I'm talking about. But anyway, so yeah, it's... A couple of these bearings are in a, a noisy again. Um, and Dad was saying that um, in here, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see here the bearings been hammering on the back of the casing there. And also it's, oh, it's hard to tell. Like it doesn't look bad, but it's worn the, worn the back of the casing on here too. And we've noticed that... Find a focus in there. There's a couple of little teeth missing in the selector. There's one there on the um, on the synchro show, and one in there. I'm just wondering if perhaps when <coughs> put that back together with the new bearings in it, um, those teeth have got damaged and broken off, and they've actually gone back through the bearings. But we, yeah, we're not 100 percent sure on that, so we'll just sort of well dad's just long pulled it down. And um because yeah, we've replaced all the bearings in it. Because apparently what had happened, or well, from what we understand, Michael bought this um, little cheap cheap because the um, gearbox had um run out of oil and I think I'm not sure if it was being driven or if it was being towed behind a like another vehicle. And um, yeah, all the, and the all the bearings went noisy in the gearbox. So obviously they had filled it up and tried to drive it, and it was really noisy. So they just sold it cheap because they didn't want to spend the money on fixing it. So my uncle stripped it down and realised it was bugger all wrong with it. So he replaced the bearings, but something just hasn't quite gone right when he's put it back together. And and it's yeah, it's damaged. Whether it's damaged those beforehand or or whether it was um, when he put it back together, we don't know. But that's the only thing we can think of, because the, this bearing there is noisy. And Dad was saying, oh, another one, another one in the mix there is noisy, and it's near that um, synchro ring, so whether that's caused it or not. But anyway, so yeah, so, and when he got this other gearbox, which would have been reconned, yeah, that it was noisy and in third and fourth gear, I think, because he said it was really quiet in overdrive, but um, fifth gear, but it was really noisy and 
I think it was pretty sure it was third and fourth. It was quite real whiny, so whether there's something else wrong with this other one or not, I don't know. But <coughs> I'm going to try and see if we can get this one fixed, because um, my brother's a um, engineer. So we're wondering if he might be actually better, um, once we work out what the end play and everything is on the shafts, might better machine a little space up in here for actually machine this out and get it packed back to the right, um, what do you want, right tolerances, and we might better, I don't know, find out whether that, well, we don't think that synchro will do much damage with two missing teeth, but as long as we can find out whether those, that, um, whether that's the material that's gone through the bearings and re-damaged them, which is not 100% sure, because if, if those two little pieces were just floating around and went through those two gears, because it's very soft, it would go through them without doing a lot of damage, but it would make it noisy again, so we'll find out. We'll do some more research and we'll get back. Cheers. That's good, huh? No. Fourteen four six. That's not even good. It's good. It's odd. No. Something is very odd. Yeah, that's why they're probably going to line up. It's not even square. That face is not square. It's, it's holding pressure on the bearing and it's wearing fast. Two, six. Four, oh. I'll measure that just to make sure. Oops. It's all over the fucking show. It's yeah. been hammered the crap out of it. So the bearing's been bouncing against it all the time. Yeah. It's been hammering. I'm wondering if one of these has let go. Mm. Oh, you can see it the other end of that other housing too. See no, that one? The yeah. Yeah, that's the opposite end of it. That whole shaft has been going like that. Mm. And it's beating the crap out of everything. Well, I don't know. It's the bearing in theory. Oh, well, I suppose it is because it pulls that fucking circuit. I've oh, got it in the hand. Yeah. But what it could be doing is. If that's not even, it could be tipping that gear. Yeah. Well, here's the original one at the moment. That gear is only done probably 2,000 pounds. Yeah. It's not going to make it to Europe. Right. The original one was like... Yeah, yeah sure. that's, that's the ceiling one. Yeah. It's like that one Is that what came out of it? That, that was the original. That he so that's like. gone in that way? Aye. That's gone in that way. Like that. No, but, he, but he might have just taken the circle off the new bearing. Oh, could have done too. Because there's a circle rather than these. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, that, that's, that's that, that one. one. That's, that's it. One. But I'd, if that's the, that could be the original one off that. And yeah. It could be running that way. Aye. I wonder if they're supposed to be running that way onto the edge of the housing like that. 
Well, it wouldn't have that circle up in there. No, I suppose it wouldn't. No, it can't be there. <laughs> it's just cold. Oh, I that much. Just that's the only seal here. Yeah. Well, to me, that doesn't even feel bad anyway. No. I think it's the same size. So here it is. Tell just about a bit of bend. You can see it polished from the end. It hasn't really been spinning in the housing, and no. it hasn't been thrust. This one in, a, in a, that circle up a little, it really. Yeah, it should. It, yeah, that, I'd say that's come with that. And he's just yeah. put it onto that one. So, that should hold it. Yeah, that should hold that. And so that doesn't really matter. I wonder if somebody's damaged it at some stage. Well, it. What it should be doing is it come down on that face and then that that retains it to stop it from coming out, coming yeah, out yeah. as opposed to... Because it doesn't look like it's been working on that. No. Does it? But if that face is not square, what it will be doing is loading it up. Hmm. And that could be where the rumbling's coming. Because you load up a bearing one way, hmm. one side, it'll, and it'll, it'll it will protest like hell. Well, I would imagine if that's the original bearing out of it, that one, if it would be lighting up, it would be showing some side. And it's not. Still. Oh, they'll, they'll be noisy if, if they're lighting up without, without destroying themselves. Yeah. We put bearings and thing for um, well, Niagara. They last two weeks and are a thousand dollars a beer. Jeez. <laughs> and there's four of them per set. Yeah. That's two downs, well, three downs there. It's just the shaft that goes into the yeah. Yeah. That's all. Can we get in anywhere if I can see if the thing's loose? So I probably should put a couple of bolts in. Is that moving up now? Yeah. How much is that moving? Oh, well, I would it. think about a millimetre or more. Right, I Sounds like a bit. Put, if I put that in there. It's a little bit in there. That's all right. Yeah. Not much. It's well, a wee bit, but I, I, think by the time, I think by the time you get those bolts in and talked up, hmm. and bugger all. I don't think you'd have any. You know, you need a couple in there. Yeah. Just to make sure there's no. To squeeze it all up. Thirteen mil
So I need a bag of bloody pork on these. So that'll be about 20, 20 odd foot pound maybe. 17 foot pound now that is. All that free. Yeah, noisy. Okay. Noisy. Mm. Doesn't it? Huh? It does, isn't it? There's, yeah. there's no. That's not excessive though. Oh yeah. well, the noise might, it might need. Could be shit on them. Yeah, could need just a bowl of one of the channels at the noisy. Just one. But I still wonder whether it, somehow he's broke those fucking things off and they've got under the bearing. Well, that, it could have done. Because that, that's the bearing that come off. Oh yeah, he's, he's and, that, and that's and that's that's how it come out, broken cage. Oh yeah. That's what it was like when he pulled it apart. Yeah. Originally, yeah. Well, it's certainly nothing to me. Well, I'm yeah, that, that bearing's definitely shagged. <laughs> yeah, that one is. <laughs> but that's had that's had, and I can feel it when you load it up sideways. Yeah. Excessively. Exce excessive side loading. Yeah. So obviously because that shaft can move too much, it's... Well, it's been... well, that's not the one though. This is the one that's been hammering. So that's come off that. Aye. So that one was off this shaft. It, off the one that's in here now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if... Well, that's... See, that's... You can, there's only a fraction of movement there, there wouldn't be enough to worry it. No, Not now. No, 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 that's, oh, but, that's good. Yeah. But before it would have been more than enough if it was working backwards and forwards well, like see, that. It would, that would be all it would take, and a bit of flake of metal to go through something. Yeah. And it would just shoot the whole thing. Pull it apart and we'll set this chart in there and see how much movement's in it. Um, it's too bloody hard when there's two of them in there. And tap it right down, see how far it goes past that bloody. Past that groove. It does go down a bit past that, doesn't it? Oh, not much. I've got my wrong glasses on again. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a wee bit. Um, Bloody hard to we talk, Jay? Bloody hard to tell when there's... Um, oh. Oh. I had a hand lamp here somewhere before. Or a red torch. Or on me. You had a headlamp here too, somewhere, or I thought. Your torch was sitting inside. Oh, before. Oh, I might have here. Jake might have dragged it back inside, did he? Let's see now. Well, it seems like it's sitting. Uh -huh. It doesn't seem like it's sitting up anywhere. It's all right. Doesn't look too bad. Right now, so you want no, that doesn't go there. We've got to put that. Uh... Yeah, where's the one off that? That one is it. it? Must be. Which way does it go? So does it not have any bloody springs in behind those? It's only got one on that side. That's bloody <laughs> odd. You'd think it'd have them on both sides, wouldn't you? You would think it would have. I wonder if it's me. I'd say it's me too. One, one missing. I'll have a look at the diagram.
because otherwise they don't work properly. I would have thought. Not to me. You so. wouldn't have a groove on both sides if it didn't wasn't meant to. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? That's down there. It's come up there. That's it there, isn't it? Eight. It's a synchro ring nose only. Oh no. One. Two. Which one's which? That's the inner, and that's the ring. Yeah, yeah but it's only showing one on these. On There's two on that one. That's that one there. And these ones here, it's only showing one. And it's showing that wrinkle washer on there. On the top of it. Well, that's one each side. That's one side, that's the other. And then... So it's missing. Uh... uh yeah, yeah. Just, it's missing one. Hmm, it is. Is it in here? Oh, it is. Just slip that ring over, Glenn. Which one got me? No, no, the, the, the ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You should be able to fit that in. Even if they are. Um, yeah, because yeah, there should be one there, yeah. holding them back out now. Mm. So I just go that way. Down there. Because that ring should go on that side. Aye. That ring goes on that yeah. side. The whole push on it. Yeah. Now I've got to put this on. First? Yeah. Yep. Get in there. Handy. Somewhere. Well, that, that's your retaining clip for there. Jesus, that's rough. Eh? Yeah, that's the one that was rough when I come out. And that, but that's where those things have been broken off, and I reckon I'd like to know when they went through it. That there actually was king. See, it's got a. Is it? Oh, fuck it. I dropped the fucking thing. Needs a little bit of straight in that thing, I think. It's been pinched, I think. Yep, we done that the other day when we had it. Part up at Mills. Is that the bearing that was there? Yeah. Let's keep there. If I can get in there though, can we? Fucking stupid things. Oh, you, can you get through there? Yeah, but you can't. There's no up and down on it. No up and down? No. Oh, that was off there. It's off there. So, what we want to do is put that on there. Huh? Was it tight after that? Aye. Was it tight after that? Yeah. And then you cut on that top one. Yeah, there somewhere. You got two there. Yeah. Top one here. Was it these on the yeah. bottom? Speed brace. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so I can get you anyway. Okay. Need a guy probably heat. <laughs> No, I got two. It's two in there. It's two. I should put one on there. Yeah. It's pulled up semi square. Way too much info. There's, there's, there's a lot of info in this front shaft. But yeah, there's a lot of info in there, eh? But we haven't got that circle on. No. Should have put that in, but I don't think it should have that much heat float anyway. Well, you can't jam them up tight because they've got the no. Yeah, they probably shouldn't have that much room to, to about them try and push backwards and forwards in that. Well, you shouldn't be solely relying on that. It should come up against the face end, and then that just locks it in place. Yeah. <coughs> Bearing noise, yeah, that's see, that's not even sitting in there, right? Uh, that ring, no, oh, that's not, no, uh. I'm wondering if that's supposed to be behind that. No, it can't be that wrinkle ring, but see, that there going that way doesn't do anything. That's no. just something to do with reverse and fifth. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so maybe that's why it, why it does show. Which gear is fifth gear? I'll have to get going shortly. But to me, that's got a lot. Yeah, it should hold those. Like that there. Box, it? One can't move because it's on that. It's got that ring, so, so that it can't move. But that moved probably almost three mil, I reckon, back. And I, I wouldn't have thought it should have that much clearance in there. Well, but it, it, there's not. That bearing is obviously Mine, locked. Oh, it, it, may, it, it may be, yeah, it has to be locked because it'll give you the clearance on that bloody cone. Yeah. So that's reverse gear there, isn't it? Yeah. They're just a precision cast gear, they're not even ground gear. Eh? Hey? They're just a precision cast gear. Yeah. Is that we spacer her down in there, Glenn? Can you push a torch? Oh. Sit down. Where in the hell is it? Oh, it's on the inside, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. See, that's no gear forward. Because there's nothing to match on. It's only back and you're in fifth. But I can't understand what's made those... Why it's knocked those two teeth up back there, off the back of it. Because it's only a stop. Yeah. It's only a stop, so why is that? 
open. That can't. Wonder if somebody's tried to knock the buddy thing out with putting something in there and knock them off. Possibly. Make you wasn't make you wonder if it wasn't quite clean enough or something. Yeah. Make you wonder if it wasn't clean enough. Yeah. So was it no better after he put it back together? Well, it, it was better for a wee while, but then it started getting noisy again. And when I pulled it out, there were, that back bearing on that back shaft was really quite gritty and shitty. It actually feels like some of it might have fallen out. And there was, oil, there was metal in the bloody oil. Can see the only other thing you can... Might... And um, this gearbox... Um, this we think we think in here um, the little keepers that um, align all the synchros and um, there's a little a little like spring clip that comes in behind the little the, the little um, keepers it's missing on one side so we don't know if that's been part of the problem but yeah not sure, so we're going to clean and clean it up. Um, reuse some of the original bearings that are still okay to replace the ones that are noisy in here now, and we're going to put it back together if we, if we get if we can get that little synchro ring. Um, we think the pieces that are being knocked off. We're not one hundred percent sure on when that's happened on that um, that one synchro wherever it is. Yeah, this one here. Those bits have been knocked off there, which is a bit strange, but but yeah, we'll give it a bloody good clean up, um, wash all the um, bearings and everything all out with um, probably brake clean or whatever, and we'll get it really, really thoroughly clean, and then we'll reassemble it and give it a try, I suppose, and um, hopefully it's right. Because all the um, end play looks like it's okay, even though we've um, we've measured it, and some of those pieces look like they're hammered, like there's no nothing super excessive in there. And believe me, Dad's probably had a I don't know how many gearboxes apart since the early '60s, a lot. <laughs> so he's been around in gearboxes enough. So so that's that done. So they need out trying to get this gearbox together back together and working properly for my uncle. So. He can put that back in. Um, Cause he's oh, I got the shoes out. It's from a gold. Um, oh, it's been it's almost been trying to snow here and like a lot of hail and sleet. Um, yeah, like it's down right down at like zero degrees or a bit, but cool. And because there's no heat in here, there's no insulation. It gets pretty cool in here if you're not doing much. So yeah, we'll get that back together. Um, I'll do some more video on that later. Um, but yeah, so the loop of that. Um, try and get some more of this done. I've um, got some. We had a, held a torch in there behind there the other day, so I've got some pinholes in there just to go back over and just make sure, see if I can get that a bit better before we seal that up. So that's a bit of an update on the Jag as well. So yeah, got plenty to do over the next few days. But it'd be good to. Be good to get these t once we get this back together we can actually get these out of here um, once it's painted I think they're both going home from what I understand so yeah I'll slap something together ready guys cheers